actor Shu. Who's this? Chinese guy. Shu Yi. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I know him. He's a decent player. Let's go for the old Scandinavian. And the line that I sort of invented a few years ago and christened the nonsense Scandinavian. It's a really bad line. I mean, this is very far into the don't try this at home category. Looked like a unicorn flying through space. Whether that's a troll or a serious con uh, comment or anything, I'm super happy to hear it. And obviously he goes for knight f3, which is, yeah, I think almost winning for white. Like I have an extra pawn, but that's the only positive you can thing you can say about my position. So we have to go back with the queen and then start developing with g6. This is really, you know, not ideal. But as long as there is no like obvious knockout, then I could continue to uh, to fight. And the good thing about starting out with um, a really bad position is that it can only get better or worse. You know. Ninety five. Pull the bishop c four next. To go e six. If d5, I'm going to go c6, try and survive. Okay, now I go c6 as well, and as le at least there's no immediate breakthrough. My position suck sucks balls, but, you know, I have an extra pawn and uh, pretty horrible, but solid position. My hood is from... from uh, as well. I think it's the I think it's the Lamella Ball collection or something. Okay, knight b6. I'm hoping that d5 doesn't just crash through. Probably does, but yeah, it's life. D5, you know, I'm probably gonna D5, we're gonna try and take knight c4, queen c5. Hope to survive there. Then queen f4. Eh, may not be as lost as it looks. Okay, what if I take? Takes. Let's say takes. Takes, 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 takes. Is that a disaster? I don't see it. Let's try and take. I think d5 may have been overzealous. Also, there's bishop b5, bishop d7. So there's bishop d7 takes, knight takes, knight d5, knight d5, rook d5, castles. And I think that's, that's okay. I think that's uh, something that I can survive. And I'm quite a bit up on time as well, which is nice. It's, he's thinking quite a bit, which is I. Uh, which is uh, which is nice. Oh, bishop d seven is a tricky move. Not sure I'm happy to see that. Queen d seven. There's. Some shenanigans with queen g5 or queen f4. Queen f4, probably. Then queen e7, he takes and so on. I think I should take with the king. Now he's gonna take on d5, I believe. And then, you know. We trade a bit and the position is a draw, but maybe I can trick him.
love it when all the um, pre-moves happen, huh? Okay, king e6. Queen d7. Don't think there's a force dryer. Okay, let's go rook. Yeah, let's go rook e8. Maybe that's the safest. King c8, and I'm consolidating. With the true rooks, I cannot lose. Like, the position is a draw, but I cannot lose, and I'm going to be very slightly better. I'll tuck the king in, and then I'll start attacking his queen with my rooks. He's doing well here, exchanging some pawns. But, uh, you know, there's still hope. Oh, queen c7. No good. Now I get a pass pawn. Now I just run. Yeah, this is uh, this is now pretty winning, I think. Actually, it's not clear. He can just start attacking my rook with his queen, but he doesn't have a lot of time. Okay, so rook e two, rook e two. There's queen d four, f two, queen d eight is perpetual. So let's go and grab the h pawn first. Oh, damn it. Didn't actually work. Oh, yes, it works. Rook f, f, f8, and then f2. So he has to go back with the queen, but then I take the pawn, and I should eventually win. Okay, thank you very much. Capture that. And there we go. Horrible position from the opening. Lost. Then it gets a little bit better, you know, and then a little bit better until I'm finally way up on time and winning.